So we're back. I have heated up my chai a bit. I have opened the window because I really needed some fresh air in here. Now... The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Okay, let's see where this leads. We have something over here. That's it. get through. Something for you to read. No, this is where we were before, right? Did. Is this, let's see, this is level two.
I uh let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh there we have some Looks like I can climb here. Mm-hmm. But we need to go up now, right? We need to go get over there. Okay, let's go down first. And let's see if we can get down here. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Okay. 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe. Pharaoh leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From Red... Were we here before? We're on level one now. I think we were. If I'm right, then we have a small... Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Now I follow you. So... Let's go up here. Hey. Let's go up here. And I guess climbing here. Mm -hmm. That's it. Can we? No. We can go out there. So the future's version of Zoom. <laughs> the ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base. Even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any machines. Do they say the same thing? The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Mm, it's this one. Okay, the Deathbringer. So we do have... Three more ordinary machines to deal with. And 
and then we have those five whatever they are the en ancient machine Not thing is they can make more of themselves then how would you ever stop them okay so uh, did we take this one or is this one we haven't looked at the FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or control can be seen. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. Okay. So the Corruptor, and then the Deathbringer, and a second one that we haven't seen yet. Okay, we have now, somewhere over here... Something to listen to. Nothing left in here, I think. Wow, this place was way bigger than I expected it to be. Oh, you weren't supposed to do that. Thank you. Spiritual Summit. Pause. Noise. Oi. Wrong button again. Sorry about that. Now, mm -hmm. we have another room in here. Looks like a meeting room. Pre COVID <laughs> meeting room. And we have something here, okay. Can I scroll down a little bit more? Scrolling down. And that's it. No. People were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. I think that's it. Let's go in here. It looks like the way up. What's left of it? Mm -hmm. Up here and over. Come on, over here. Thank you. Here and up there. Gonna be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, guess I can too. No, don't, 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 don't. offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, 
is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. Then a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Father, okay. Uh, let's see where you are. There we have something. for you to read. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. Oi, stop it. And up. And up. So I guess that we have different areas where we can uh, we can choose basically go straight up or go um, take the scenic route. Actually, we should go out and take a look at the view. Let's do that next time we get, we go out. That's fine. So nothing here to find or pick up doesn't look like it let's continue yeah not a very scenic crowd <laughs> where are we we need to get to level it's only level 12 she said that we should go to level 35. What happens at level 12? Uh, we have something in here. Mm -hmm. Can we drop down? Yes, we can. Get up. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we have you. Noise. Are we full on both? Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. There we have something. and read we need to go there mm. I guess we don't have anything more to find doesn't really look like it 
the way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Search Faro's office for information about Dr. Sobek. Sobek. So I guess that's here. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for a second. Let's go up here. Here we have something nice. It must have been an absolutely fabulous view from up here. Ah, we have some mountains. Let's do a panoramic view. Can't see too much. Go back in. Now, bunker door. We might be able to open that one. We seem to be able to climb here. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. That's that one. Fast executive data storage secure three zettabyte storage sac six percent power remaining that's good <laughs> good we'll power management here. if it if it has been like hundreds and hundreds of years and they still have six percent energy left that's impressive those kinds of batteries i want all data has been erased in this device do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover merge data? Oh, yes, yes, please. I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Where's data point? No? Where did it... Data point go. Machines. Elizabeth, good to, uh. It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. Alright, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up to something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another thing has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I do? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization, we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained, it can't be! You know what I mean? Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. 
I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. The final file has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? It's what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Express lift opened. Okay, exit to ruin. So that seems to be it. This is starting to be very interesting. I definitely... Let's go up here, see if we can find anything up there. They wouldn't put any climbing possibilities in if there wasn't anything to find. Like this one, for example. Actually, perhaps we have... No, it's... I'd have to ditch something. Yeah. Okay, let's continue up. Continue. But what was it about the 35th floor? Or did, do I misremember that? This was only 12th. Power... Okay, power cell. Good. Another power cell. If I find more, I should be able to get to that ancient armor I found. Oh, nice! The first one of the power cells. I was looking for those in the in the ruins in um, um, mother's the mother's area, the Executive initial area. Access detected. Express lift opened. <sighs> this this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned. To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a... F right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. 
Okay, I see your point. Uh, if you're so smart, you don't understand. So, mm, I'm kind of curious about <laughs> how how this will pan out. Let's take that one. If you're so smart, why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today. I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. You need to get a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that feral robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? I have questions. Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Sorry, I accidentally hit my microphone when I was drinking water. Who is Hades? So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The clips describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom, with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. I really like <laughs> her way of arguing. <laughs> wow, I love that. Pharaoh robots. You said you've known for some time that Pharaoh war machines destroyed the civilization of the old ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Well, it's only a matter of time. Your intentions. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. 
Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Tracking my focus? You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. I'm sorry if you hear the trams in the background. I had to open the door before because it was so much lacking in oxygen in here. I couldn't, I couldn't think. So it's gonna the the window is is gonna have to be open for a little bit. Sorry about that. If it is noticeable, Elizabeth Sobek still alive? Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners have better be improved. Learn of the ancient well, past. Getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. Yeah, I hope so. robot command next to learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Okay, so I guess that is close to. Uh, okay, I guess we have to go out, or do we have world option? No. Okay, let's go out. I guess that we need to go to the area where that is bordering to the frozen wilds. Snowfall. Uh -huh. Getting colder. Let's go down here. Should be out, right? Looks like it. That's it, okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're back outside. Let's see if I'm right. Zoom out. Yeah, exactly. We need to go here. So this cauldron here the grave hoard I guess is where we need to go so I think that we are going to take a streaming session for clearing up this area and the Baku tribe and then in the next pre-recorded episode we will take 
this one here. I think is a good way to do it. I'm gonna wait with this to a mission. So, in that case, we can go, I think, back here to the day tower. We can go, yeah, we can go to the this one here. And that will have to be it for this episode. My friends, I thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take care, and as always, I see you next time.